Filipinos nailed to crosses for Easter crucifix reenactment. Nothing like a good crucifixion on a casual Sunday. (laughs) Excuse me, on Good Friday. Every year on Good Friday, something truly extraordinary happens in the Philippines. Some Filipinos, as part of their repentance and to show faith, choose to reenact the life and suffering of Jesus Christ by being nailed to the cross themselves. This tradition has been a source of controversy for many years, with the Catholic Church in the Philippines disapproving of the practice, and yet it still remains deeply ingrained in part of the country's religious culture. This year's Good Friday saw dozens of villagers in the farming town of San Pedro uh, Cutud in Pampanga registering to participate in real-life crucifixions, but only eight men actually showed up to do the act. Among them was Ruben uh, Enahe, a 62-year-old sign painter who had already been crucified 34 times before. Some repentants show their faith in repentance by beating themselves with sharp bamboo sticks and wood to atone for their sins, pray for healing, and give thanks for a better life during the Holy Week. Despite the Catholic Church's disapproval of these bloody practices, the spectacle, the spectacle in San Pedro Coutud draws as many as 15,000 tourists from all around the world. So this was significant because this practice of the festival um, had hadn't happened for the past few years because of the the pandemic. Um, and now it came back. And, you know, this is just wild. And here's the thing. I was reflecting on this. I, I have so many questions. I have so many thoughts. First of all, this one dude so has th- been doing it 34 times. Yeah. And he, he works with his hands for his craft. So damn. Mo Gumbo is saying he likes getting nailed. Shut up. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Um, The other thing is that, you know how we hear about what the Romans would do with the gladiators and the call scene? Wait, 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 wait. Wait for, before you continue, I just want to make it clear for people who didn't understand what just happened. Okay. These, they're not, they don't just like tie them to a cross. Yeah. They actually put nails through their hands. Four inch nails. Four inch nails. Yeah. So guys, this is not just like a just like, oh, let's act like we're being crucified. This is like, no, the whole thing. You know, nails yeah, yeah, through yeah. hands. I'm I'm assuming they're not gonna do nail through feet thing because that will not that shit would not heal. That shit I don't that would not think heal so. at all. Yeah, okay. So but look at this guys. They are, can we even show the video on YouTube? Like the nailing press, the thing? I don't know. Can I show? I don't know. Well, this one is on YouTube. This is on YouTube. So, yeah, you know what? I'm not going to show it. But they actually, yeah, the videos, I mean, do you guys want to see it? Let me know. They they, they actually, you know, they, they do the, why are they doing this? I mean, if they're Catholic, and the Catholic Church from Vatican is uh, is not approving this. Like the whole point of being Catholic is that you obey the authority. You know, like are you protesting? Are you protesting the Vatican? No, because no, if no. You're protesting, no. If you're protesting the Vatican, then you're Protestant. You know, like the whole point of being a Catholic is that you accept the authority of Vatican. I don't understand. So it's, it's, it's insane. Folk, it's so it, insane that even the Vatican doesn't approve it. Yeah, go on. It's a form of folk folk Catholicism. There's lots of mm. different types of folk it's Catholicism Mexico. around the world. Yeah, there's a lot of folk Catholicism in Mexico, right? And so the clergy in the Philippines, basically, when they're asked about this, they say that this shows that they have been failing to properly educate the Filipino community about what is the correct way to practice essentially. And it was so funny because there was one guy who like a um, Catholic priest or something that was interviewed about this. And he was like, we need to teach people that they don't need to hurt themselves to have like repentance, da da da. And I'm like, I would like you to see the history of the Catholic church. <laughs> people have been hurting themselves to show repentance for centuries. 
<laughs> like, what do you, what do you mean? <laughs> like, they do that to this day. Have you heard of Opus Dei? Like, they still do this stuff. That's an official order of the Catholic Church that just still does self-flagellation and punishments and um, denials and all this stuff. Um, but what I was saying was, you know, back in the day, you know, you hear about what they would do with at the Roman Colosseum and with the gladiators and just how freaking brutal and bloody it is, right? And I would also be like, mm. how the hell do you want to watch a man getting eaten by a lion as entertainment? That's crazy. And then when I saw this story, I was like, okay, here's the thing. I do want to go see this in person. <laughs> Maybe I'm more similar <laughs> to them than I thought. <laughs> mm. Interesting. I, I want to go see it as well, actually. I don't know why. I, I just I've heard that it's not nearly as bloody as people think it is. It's not nearly as gory as people think it is. That, That's why I've heard. damage like, the nerve endings in a way that is not repairable? Like, the guy works with his hands. There are supposed to be ways where you can, certain places in the hand... You can actually pierce through your hand and not damage anything, but it has to be very careful. And I'm wondering about how consistently they can get that exact spot targeted. Right. This man has done it 34 right. times before, though. But still. You can now get the sexiest blasphemous art ever known to mankind for free. Too sexy to show most of it here on YouTube. We draw Muhammad, Hindu goddesses, sexy hijabi art, Jesus, Mother Mary, Japanese gods, Greek gods, and much, much more. Click on the link below where it says get our free blasphemous art.